Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Cinnamon's Classroom. Today, we're gonna to be discussing the five senses. What are the five senses? We know what they are. They're taste, sight, hearing, smelling, and touching. Here's a couple of different ways you could teach children so they can learn easily and make it fun, of course. One way is through song. Now, I think I created this song. If I didn't, sorry, internet, but this is how it goes. We see with our eyes, we see with our eyes. Hi ho the dairy -o. we see with our eyes. We hear with our ears, we hear with our ears. Hi ho the dairy -o. we hear with our ears. And so on and so forth. You know, you continue the song for every other sense and usually music children retain very well. So, you know, it's always a great method to use if you can make up a song about it. Another way you can teach your children the five sen senses is by creating a sorting collage. So here I've created a sorting collage. Here, let's show you a video so you can see it better. You can cut out pictures from magazines or get some stock photos from off the internet. What I've done is divided my paper into five sections and I believe I stuck everything where they belong. And here's mine, guys. I think I did everything correctly. Another way to teach your child the five senses is using an old friend, Mr. Potato Head. So what you can do is you can ask your child specifically things that they hear, see, smell with, and ask them to add it to Mr. Potato Head. For example, what do we taste with? What do we taste with? Ah, our tongues, and have them put it on. What do we hear with? What do we hear with? And then have them add the ears. Easy and fun. A new segment I've added to Cinnamon's Classroom is developmental tips. So the first area of development we're going to talk about is communication. What are some ways we could teach our child communication? Well, we're giving them new words. Let's do it by giving them new foods. Give them foods to try and taste and then have them use their words to describe what they taste like to you. Also assisting them with words maybe they've never used before like bitter or Sour, what about gross motor skills, right? Those are the skills we need to strengthen our large muscle groups. Mine not as large as they used to be. Anyway, you can teach your child how to use their gross motor skills by giving them simple tasks like learning how to hop, doing cartwheels, even little exercises like jumping jacks. Those all help to build those big muscle skills. Even in infants, when they're doing tummy time and learning to roll over, they're strengthening their gross motor skills. On to fine motor skills. What are fine motor skills? They are the smaller muscles that we learn to do, like the ones in our fingers. They help us to learn to write or to cut with scissors tear papers or to take small objects and put them into things that are also small. For example, teaching your child to eat with a fork or a spoon is a way also to work on their fine motor skills. First, eating can tend to look like this and then eventually like this. Last but not least, social emotional development. How do we get our children to get along in the environments that they're gonna be in, especially the ones that they're gonna be in without you. Well, practicing introducing yourself to each other at home is also something that you could do with your child that will help them build those skills. So maybe when they're in school, they'll learn how to introduce themselves to friends. Well, that's it for Cinnamon's Classroom this month. Tune in next month where we'll discuss more developmental tips for your children.